Welcome to Wednesday, December 2nd. We've gotten creation made. Adam and Eve were made. Um, we've talked a little bit about the cosmos and the, all of creation and how it doesn't look the way that it did at its inception. Um, and the question I want you to ponder during our time together today is what was it that the people that Adam and Eve were hoping for? Listen to the words from Paul in the letter to the Romans. For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God and are justified by his grace as a gift through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus. Satan took the form of a snake and found the man and woman and asked, Did God really say that you can't eat from any tree in the garden? And the woman corrected Satan and said, God said if we eat from just this one tree, or even touch it, we will die. The serpent lied. You won't really die. If you eat from it, you'll be like God, knowing good and evil. Well, the fruit looked so delicious and so good, and now they understood that it could make them wise, they thought. Everything that God had created was good, so why would God keep a good thing from them? The woman decided to disobey God. She picked the fruit and ate some, and she gave some to the man. He ate the fruit as well, and then something terrible happened. Before they were clothed by God's glory, and now they felt naked. Before they knew only good, now... They knew evil too. Before they had never been afraid, but now they felt guilty and terrified, and when they heard God walking in the garden, they hid themselves. The serpent had deceived the woman. The woman and the man had disobeyed God. The perfect relationship between God, God's people, and creation were gone. So God told the serpent and the woman and the man what would happen. The snake must crawl on his belly, eating dust, the woman would be hurt by having babies, and the man would rule over her. The man would work very hard to grow food for his family, and God would send them out of his perfect garden. But God also spoke a promise, that one day a son of a woman would crush the head of the serpent, and the evil that Satan had started would end. God provided clothes for Adam and Eve, and they left the beautiful garden. Now death, sadness, fear, and evil were part of their world. Their only hope was God's promise. So I want to go back, and here I'll show you the picture. It's got Adam and Eve fleeing the garden. And the question is, what did they hope for? They had everything they needed, and yet they were hoping for something beyond what they needed. Something as though God had lacked in providing them. I don't know what the answer would be. But I think it's worth pondering for us. To wonder what it is after God has provided us all that we need. What is it we still yearn for? Even when we had that perfect relationship with God. We weren't satisfied. Let's pray. Holy God, you have made us in your likeness. You have given us all that we need. Teach us, O oh Lord, to praise your name all our days and to prepare our hearts for your coming in your Son, Jesus, who takes us back to you. Amen.